Hi everyone, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and in today's video I'll be going through everything I made in 2022. Yeah, let's get started. going to break this up into five different categories so it's going to be wearables keyrings earrings dolls or amigurumis and miscellaneous so miscellaneous are things that like i couldn't put like where i only had like a few of um like one or two of things that it didn't have a group to be with i suppose <laughs> or a category so i just put them in their own little category Okay, so we'll move on to wearables. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, so I'm just going to put this box aside and bring out all the wearables. Okay, and um, for all of this stuff, some of the stuff I've done for gifts or for, they've been for orders. So for some of the things, I don't actually have this stuff with me. Personally, I don't have some of this stuff. Um, so... So yeah, I will insert pictures over here um, for you to see uh, what I am talking about. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so let's get started. I'll also insert pictures of the stuff that I have, uh, also the stuff that I have here, so that you can at least see what it looks like on or there. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I've got a huge big drawer this is all gonna fall down um i've got a huge big drawer here full of chunky hats that i've made um so some of them i need to redo the brim because the brim is a bit loose like this one here you can see how loose it is so i've got quite a few hats of various colors here i do have a tutorial of this hat on my youtube channel you can go check that out um, so let me just pick one up that has a nice brim. I think it was this green one. Yeah. Yeah, so this green one um, fits really snug and tight. It's the same exact stitches and method as this one for the brim. I just made the slip stitches a lot more tighter. Um, then this one, that is why this one is so much looser and majority of the other ones I actually need to redo the brim. Um, but yeah, so those are all the chunky hats that I can put aside. And um, I have done, this was a tutorial, this was for um, the Black Splash cardigan. So this is what it looks like here. So you have the black splash cardigan. I love this cardigan and my microphone thing is getting stuck to everything. That's lovely. <laughs> okay, so you have the black splash cardigan. Um, I actually recently made this one. It is a granny square crop top. Not a crop top, sorry. A granny square top, not a crop top. Um, so this is what it looks like. I like this side of the crop top more than this side. So this is the back of the crop top and this is the front. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then I also made this adventurous scarf from Tony. I really, really love this scarf. It is my absolute favorite. And I actually won Tony's, uh, Tony's, what do you, what do you call it? The Tunisian Crochet Handbook, that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, I actually won the Tunisian Crochet Handbook by posting a picture of this adventurous scarf that she designed and made on her Instagram. And yeah, so I actually won her Tunisian Crochet Handbook, which I was really happy about. And this was another one that I made. This was using the Moya Afrique yarn. Came in a box of like little Moya tots. You can also check the video where I make Tony's scarf. Well, where I make this scarf, to be exact. 
Okay, so that's that one. And I also made this Alpine stitch bralette or crop top. So it's got like a nice Alpine stitch over there and it's got a crisscross tie up at the back. Um, I really like this crop top. It was very quick and easy to make and uh, yeah, it's very stylish. Good for spring and yeah, I love this top. Okay, next we have um this crochet vest this was supposed to be a tutorial um but yeah i never got around to it because this part here i didn't know how to uh do that and this top is actually inside out <laughs> um <clears throat> but yeah i didn't know how to do this neckline thing without having to sew it by hand um, so yeah, that's the reason why I didn't do a tutorial for it and um, yeah, it also was it also took quite a long time to make um, So yeah, that's that and then this was a shawl from Happy Berry Crochet's YouTube channel So I used this autumn kind of ball of yarn and I had sewn a button here I had sewn a button so I can um, open up the shawl if I want to Okay, so yeah, that's the shawl and then I also crocheted this um, This mega chunky uh, Crop top over here. It is really super chunky and it is so heavy actually um, It is really really heavy um, So yeah, I made that and I also made this crop top this is the willow square crop top sorry this thing keeps getting caught here okay so this is the willow crop top I did do a tutorial of this on my youtube channel um, but I made another one for myself because the first one was actually a gift to a friend for her birthday gift and uh, yeah so I did that and also crocheted this ocean breeze sweater so this is a turtleneck if I can fold it over nice and okay so it is a turtleneck um, sweater I call this the ocean breeze sweater and this is also on my YouTube channel. And then I also have this baby dress that I crocheted. This was actually for my work experience. While I was doing work experience and working in a CMT factory, um, me and my classmate, we had to work up a collection of kids wear. So we had sewn and I uh, crocheted this dress as part of the kids wear. Um, collection so it has this is a nice like pinafore dress um, so it has two tones of blue so this is denim look iron weight yarn and then this was like another I don't know what yarn this was but I had to hold two of these two yarns together um, to make it like DK or like iron weight I suppose and yeah so it's nice like sparkly I don't know if you can see it it's like sparkly shimmery yarn and with the crochet flower on the front Okay, um, I don't know if I've missed anything out. Uh, okay, I also crocheted a baby hoodie um, and baby booties and a matching a baby beanie as well. I'll put the picture here for that. Um, also crocheted the Vara shawl for, um, for my aunt's friend in Johannesburg. Um, I don't have a, I don't have one on me on hand at the moment. I'm still currently working up my one, um, but I will insert a picture of it here for you. And also crochet the mandala waistcoat. I don't have it with me. It was also a gift to my aunt's friend in Johannesburg. I have always loved this waistcoat. Every time I see it on Pinterest, I've always wanted to make it. And finally. I had the chance to it was always a paid pattern so because it was a paid pattern I was like I don't really want to 
put the time into um, buying this pattern and then making it. Um, yeah, so I kind of stayed away from it until she asked me to make this mandala waistcoat. And of course, I jumped right ahead and I made it. And it was so beautiful and I loved the way it came out. I even made actually matching earrings and a headband as a free gift to her. Okay, uh, I think that was it. As for the wearables, moving on to the key rings. So let me just get the key rings out. So these are all the key rings that I have made so far. I plan to fill this box up completely because um, I want to start selling at markets and stuff. So I want to do um, key rings, scrunchies and earrings and I don't know, any other bits and bobs I plan to do sometime down the line. Um, okay, but anyway, let's get started. I have made five of each keychain so far. So I have um, the Evil Eye keychain. Uh, this is a tutorial on my YouTube channel. Okay, the Evil Eye. I have a little ghost here. A little ghost. Okay, I have done a large B. A large B keychain. Very big. I have crocheted a rainbow keychain. A rainbow keychain. A sunflower keychain with a little leaf. This leaf is supposed to go to the back. Sunflower keychain, leaf. I have crocheted an avocado. And this tutorial is, I mean, this <laughs> this avocado, this keychain. Is also on my YouTube channel as a tutorial. Okay, little avocado keychain. Um, I have a little mini bee, much more tinier than the big bee, and I can't get him to sit right. There we go. Little bee. Okay, I have done a frog. Um, this actually started out as an order. And because she really loved it, um, I decided to add it to my keychain collection. So it's a nice like, little froggy. And what else? Um, I have also done this ladybug keychain. But I am yet to do four more. Um, I still have to do another four more of these. Um, but yeah, that is... The keychains I have done, I don't think I have missed any of them out. Okay, I have also done a rainbow bee keychain um, for LGBTQ, it was for a friend, it was for an order, and also a rainbow heart to go with that bee. Also did a love you mom keychain and a doggy paw keychain, which I do plan on doing a lot more for um, this box for... For my markets and stuff so it's the doggy ball keychains and the number 51 as i said i will also insert the pictures here okay moving on to the earrings um so i have made let me just get them out here okay so i have made i've made leaf earrings which is on my YouTube channel. So these little things here, these need to be blocked, I think. Um, so they are yellow pair. There's a yellow pair. There is a light green pair. Light green. There is a dark green pair. Dark green and lastly of the leaf earrings we have the brown pair so we have a brown pair of earrings and then we also have we also have granny square earrings And then we also have sunflower earrings, um, which I believe is maybe a tutorial on my YouTube channel. I can't remember if that is or isn't. 
But anyway, so yeah, I've also made these little cute sunflower ones. And there you go. I have one more to show you for the earrings. Let me just get them out. I forgot to get them out. Yeah. So as for the um the, the other earrings I have, I have weird earrings or marijuana earrings. Um, this was supposed to be like a free gift for an order, but yeah, that didn't end up happening. Um, shouldn't end up paying. Shouldn't end up collecting it. Um. But yeah. Quite annoying um she claimed to be my friend um yeah but anyway it's not about that so yeah weird leaf earrings okay that's it for the earrings um i don't know if i'm missing out on anything okay i've also done rosebud earrings which i'll insert a picture here for you and um as for dolls and amigurumi um i have crocheted rick and morty characters um oops this was also an order this was also an order um it was actually for the same lady that i was going to give the marijuana leaf earrings for or weed leaf earrings for this is what she ordered but yeah and a lot of work went into these so we got rick i designed it myself and Crocheted it. It even has like a little embroidered belt over there. Um, so yeah, that's Rick. This is Morty. Yeah, yeah, Morty. As I said, I designed all of these myself. A lot of time and everything, and yeah, she bailed out on me. Uh, this is Masiki's with his orange hair. Masiki's. And last but not least, we have Pickle Rick. Yeah, so we have Pickle Rick. Again, I designed these patterns myself. Um, I think the other one that I did, the other Pickle Rick I did had a lot more spots to this. Um, I think I might still have it. So, yeah, this was... I just turned the camera off. So, this was the new Rick that I did. Oh, sorry, the new Pickle Rick. As you can see, it has a lot more um, spots on it. Um, so yeah, that was Pickle Rick. Okay, so moving on. Now we have miscellaneous. Okay, so I also forgot to mention this crochet amigurumi bear. Um, I did this for a friend for her baby shower. She was having a boy. Um, so yeah, the tutorial for this is also on my YouTube channel, you can go check that out. So I will, um, again insert pictures of the stuff that I don't have with me. So I have a scrunchie, I had crocheted a scrunchie, my mom wanted to learn how to crochet and she wanted to crochet a scrunchie. So we found Nastasia's video on YouTube and made the scrunchie. And um, also did a baby blanket, which I'll insert here. And it is also on my YouTube channel. It's a tutorial. And um, I did this memorial pillow. This was a very sad tragedy. Um, Lynn, um, she came to cut our grass. She did a garden service for us. We only had her for like two days. And um, her sister passed away on like this one day um can't remember what day it was and um i think it was two years or something that her sister passed away or a year or something and she was really depressed and everything like that and um and she wanted me to crochet this pillow to give to her mom and a few days after we got a phone call to say lynn and her partner and two boys were involved in a car accident and they sadly didn't make it so it was really heartbreaking and um i felt like i had to finish that pillow so i finished it and i made contact with the sister and find out where the mother lives and i delivered the pillow to her and then we also have this floor rug that i did this was used by this was using moya's yarn um 
So now if you remember my channel, I did a Christmas yarny gift box with that yarn and made a rug. So I'll put the picture here. And then I also did a sewing machine bag. Let me actually just get that quick here. So this is the bag here. It is very heavy. But anyways, as you can see, it has my sewing machine in. And it has three pockets for all of the stuff that I need for my sewing machine. So it has one big pocket for the foot pedal and the, the plug and everything. Then it has um, one smaller pocket than the big one that has the manual and the dust cover for it. And the third little pocket is my accessories bag that came with the sewing machine um, for me to obviously perform sewing. So it has several different feet that the sewing machine came with and um, the little spool thread holder thing and a screwdriver and all of that other stuff um so yeah i do have a video of me crocheting this bag it's not a tutorial it's just a crochet with me video okay um i think that was about it oh and i also have done a i've also done an order for motifs so they were a baby blanket sorry they were they were hearts butterflies, roses, lips and stars. So there were motifs, but I'll put the pictures of them here. Okay, um, that is about it. And um, yeah, you guys must stay posted because I'm very excited about this next video. Um, hint, hint, Wednesday Adams. Um, I'm not going to give away anything else, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you loved the recap of 2022, and I hope with watching this video, you get uh, lots and lots of inspiration um, to start crocheting, or if you haven't already, or if you if you um, have lost your crochet mojo, or crojo, <laughs> um, hopefully you can get your inspiration back by watching this. Um, but yeah, I was very happy sharing all of this with you. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas and your New Year's. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your crocheting. And have a happy year ahead. Bye.